50 days to go until GCSEs, here are the things that I wish I knew and did before exam season. The first thing that you should be doing before exams is focusing on your exam technique. So that means just knowing what the paper looks like, the questions that might come up, and question types. And the reason I think it's important to learn and do exam technique before the actual exams or exam season starts is because getting a head start on it is really important, especially when it comes to doing the actual paper, because you want to have some sort of a technique before you actually go into your first exam. One of the best ways to do this is to just do past paper questions, but other things you can do are just going through the paper, printing it out, going through, looking at the start of the page where it has all the instructions, seeing what you have to do. And if you've had mocks, then you know it'll be a very similar process to that. So another thing I've noticed with exam technique is that a lot of YouTubers, including me in past videos, don't really go into exam technique and the specifics and how to improve it. And instead we just say stuff like, oh, improve your time management. But now in this part, I'm gonna go deeper into exam technique and what you should be doing in these last 50 days. So one of the biggest tips that I'd say is quality, not quantity. When it comes to big six markers in triple science, the worst case scenario that can happen is that you have all the right points, but then you jumble them up and they don't make sense and you end up getting like one out of six marks. So one strategy to avoid that is using bullet points. So every answer that you give has six bullet points and six points that the examiner can mark and see. Moving on from exam technique, another thing I really wish I'd started doing earlier when it came to my own GCSEs was actually using the resources that I made. So you want to focus on doing and using the actual resource and from that you can apply it to when you do questions because you've already started to review the information. And I want to make it clear for anyone out there who's making the resources and then kind of doing the theory and then does questions and finds them hard, you're making the same mistake I did because you need to focus on actually doing and using your flashcards and using your resources because it's better to use them early than rather leaving them late, revise the theory and then go on to pass paper questions and practicing because then you'll see it'll become much easier and then you can focus on exam technique. So yeah, this is one of the biggest tips for anyone out there because I know a lot of people did or do what I did and that is making resources but not necessarily using them as fast and this is your kind of warning because it's 50 days left and there's still a lot of time until exam season and actually using resources links to this next tip very well and that is doing questions like i said of course i have to say this in every single video because it's so so important and probably the only tip i would give people when they revise for their gcses and a levels is to do practice questions but the most important thing to understand is that you don't necessarily have to finish every single topic of that subject you can do a topic and then do some past paper questions on it and in case you're wondering what resources to use I have a very good video from last week that you can check out of all the resources out there available for GCSEs and A levels that you can use incorporate and implement into your revision but when you do questions after each topic you're constantly reviewing that and then you're actually applying the information that you've learned instead of just passively storing it in your brain and then going yep I know this and moving on to the next topic and forgetting it the next day so when you do the questions you'll have a chance to apply it and a lot of times if you're using a workbook or a textbook they'll have a few mini questions after they've taught you the theory so try and attempt those or if not just go into physics and maths tutor or PMT and use the questions that they have for those topic specific things that you find hard and also having a good study routine that is the next tip we're going to focus on study routines are super important and before you even start having one or start doing revision you should answer these five questions and the questions are when where why what and how so first up when and you should know with your study routine when you're actually able to revise, when you're free, and when you have activities that might interrupt. And something that may be kind of obvious, but you'll find if you don't actually plan this stuff, sometimes it can kind of like elude you to the point where you're going on doing your activities, but then you actually don't carve out the time to study. So you should find the gaps in your schedule and then try and incorporate studying into that. So the next two I'm going to tackle are where and why. And the first one I'm going to tackle is where. So a lot of times you might have heard people say this, you should have a dedicated study space where you should and have your area free of distractions free from people coming in and interrupting you and where you can just focus and do revision and a lot of times this is just in your bedroom for most people where they have a desk but some people aren't as privileged and in that sense you should know that maybe your wear is going out going to a coffee shop going to a library going somewhere where you can focus instead of staying at home and then the other one is why you want to focus on why you want to get the grades and why you're actually studying and this is all about the most motivation. So do you want to make yourself proud, your parents proud? Do you want to get the grades that you can use for then doing A-levels? So you just want to find that motivation, that thing that gets you going, the thing that's going to make you feel productive and 
want to learn and want to get the grades. And then the last two are what and how. And in this sense, for what you want to know what subject you're going to study, what topic you're going to study in that subject or what subtopic. And then how is the easiest one? How are you going to revise? Are you going to read your notes? Don't do that. Are you going to use flashcards? Are you going to do past paper questions this study session? It's the easiest one and it's just all about how you're actually going to revise the content or the topic that you set yourself out to do. But this last tip is to focus on your weaknesses first and then your strengths later. And this is a warning to anyone not doing this. You have 50 days left until exams. Don't be like me and focus on your weaknesses first. Yes, it might seem hard and you might feel a bit unmotivated at first, but when you actually understand and focus on those weaknesses and crack them and then conquer them and you can do questions on them, you'll feel so much more satisfied, much more able to actually do the work and you'll feel more productive and feel more motivated to do other topics that you find hard. So you don't want to be that person, you want to be someone who gets good grades in every subject, even if it is a bit harder for you, you put in that extra effort and then you get a better grade and you feel much prouder of yourself. In the end, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful. I did try to have it more stripped down so it was more focusing on the tips and the things you actually need to do. So yeah, 50 days left until exams, you have plenty of time, it's not too late for anyone wondering you can still do really really well and thank you so so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you next week with a brand new one bye for now